Good morning, everybody. So um, this is going to be a short little video, just um, following on from the hour-long video that I posted a few days ago, uh, which has had quite a lot of views so far. Um, so let me just turn the volume down on here very quickly. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so we posted a video four days ago, I believe, which has had the most views comments, likes that I've had so far, which is great. Um, so please, you know, uh, if you like what you see, comment, like, subscribe, do what you need. Uh, there's also a link in the uh, channel info to a new Discord that we've set up. So feel free to join the Discord, join the community, ask any questions, um, and we'll also be posting updates on there also. So, um, the video the other day, so we didn't have enough time to show um, uh, all of the new areas that are being added to the game. So housing estate, farm area, main city and the quarantine zone. So I'm just going to run through these save points um, so that, yeah, you just get a general uh, overview, really. So if we start here, which is where we ended the stream pretty much <clears throat> sorry it's a bit early this morning so my my voice is a little croaky apologies just wait for the game to load make sure i am recording yes okay uh just wait for it to load in. There we go. Okay, so this is the, uh, if we recall, the safe zone, uh, which we've seen quite a lot of so far. Um, so this is where we pretty much left off with all the items on the player, all saved as you would expect. So let's go back to the main menu very quickly. Uh, load game. So we will start at the Pineview State. Again, just for anybody new coming to the channel or watching the videos, this is a development build of the game currently in its state. So, like, textures and materials will take a little time to render in because, they're, they're, you know, it's not fully um, cooked and baked and ready to go. So, let's turn that off because we don't need that. Okay, so this is the Pineview Estate, which is located here and uh, for reference the safe zone is located here which is um, in that direction yes so one kilometer away okay so in pine view we have um barrels where you can collect scrap metal. Uh, all of the houses that you see are enterable and lootable. Uh, let's just change the weather to get a different perspective. So this is in daylight. This is during thunderstorm. This is doing snow. So we have some zombies spawning in now on proximity to the player. Uh, let me turn the volume up again one more time. Really need a ranged weapon to get into here. So, just for um, viewing purposes, let's just go in here and close the door. So, um, zombies can enter buildings, by the way. So, just open the door again, they will 
eventually spot me and then come in. There we go, this guy's come in. Yep. So let's just kill him with the crowbar. Okay. Let's just close that door very quickly again before we get overwhelmed. Right, so um, where were we? So yeah, all the houses are enterable and lootable with various rooms and uh, loot containers, for example. Uh, we could do with the drink, actually. Uh, okay, let's go upstairs. Yeah, so as you can see, you can go into all of the rooms. There's loot containers in each room. You can go to the attic uh, with more random loot containers up here. So yeah, you should get the idea. This again is all being built and work in progress, but it's just to show you different zones on the map, basically. So, yeah, so zombies will spawn in this area. Uh, you can also, uh, if I can show you, there we go, uh, enter garages. Ideally, at this stage of the game, you would need a ranged weapon without being without being overwhelmed, uh, because it's, yeah. So I think that gives you a good idea. So let's just go into this house very quickly. So all of the houses are different, different layout, etc. Are uh, we going to? Oh, and there we go. So we now respawn at the very start of the map. Okay, so that's that area. Let's go to the next area. Uh, which is the farm. Excuse me one moment. <coughs> yeah, so I do believe we showed this in uh, another video, but the map has changed since. So we pretty much just uh, picked the assets up and moved them to a new location. Um, but just for anybody that hasn't seen the farm area, um, we're about to enter now. Okay, so for reference, uh, we were just at the Pine View Estate. We're now at the farm and the Pine View Estate is... Uh, 800 meters away so just to give you an idea of distance so in the farm you also have uh, barrels for scrap metal um, you also have random uh, areas that will spawn items um, in the world and also in containers. Uh, some coin. So yeah, as an example, again. 
So this is the farm area. And again, zombies will be spawning here. Uh, I just haven't put them in yet. Uh, another house to show you as an example. With random loot spawning in various containers. Uh, there is a machine here. So yeah, I think you just about get the idea, hopefully. Again, we can go upstairs quickly. Similar layout, just slightly varied. Each house is varied differently, so that no, not as many houses will be uh, looking the same, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's it. So yeah, so this is the uh, Hansen Farm, which is located here on the map. So let's have a little run around here to get a bit of a different perspective. So, uh, let's go out quickly and move on to, let's go Swanfield, <clears throat> which is the main city uh, in the middle of the map, which I'll show in a second when it loads in. Again, apologies. A little bit snuffly and croaky this morning. Need more coffee, I think. Okay, so Swanfield is here. Right, well, pretty much in the middle, so. Uh, just to explain, so each of the saves were saved at various different points, so. Um, you are going to see the player with different um, items on the inventory, but that's just purely because I wanted to show um, the different areas, you know. Again, ideally, you wouldn't want to be going in here without a ranged weapon. Uh, there are active zombies spawning in this area. So we have um, on the entrance to Swanfield, sort of um, like a little commercial area with uh, which will have uh, shops, a gas station, diner, etc. And then we have enterable uh, apartment buildings. Okay. So let's go this direction. Go. Yeah, we're not going to get through these. We probably will, but just for the purpose of the video, let's just skip those for now. Okay. So this is one of the tall buildings, okay? So the foyer area, or the entrance. Going up uh, with apartments, which are furnished inside. Okay. All lootable random spawning items in each container, which can all be looted by the player. 
Okay. <clears throat> Bit of pizza. Okay, so this is one apartment on the first floor. If we go up to the second floor, we have another apartment with the same lootable containers and enterable. So we're down on the second floor. Go into the third floor with another apartment. Again, enterable, lootable. Uh, fourth floor, I believe. The same. Uh, fifth floor, the same. Sixth floor, the same. seventh floor just to show that they are all enterable I have no idea what floor I'm on now seventh I think uh, so this will be eighth yeah same thing to the roof okay so as you can see we are quite high up here see where we are okay so let's get out of here uh, wrong way I know there's a lot of games that have aesthetically pleasing cities with buildings that look very nice but you can't go in them um, I wanted the buildings to be Enterable and lootable. Not all buildings will be for obvious reasons because of performance and everything. So um, that will be adjusted over time until we find a good balance. But there are plenty of um, options, basically, to uh, or give you a reason to go into a city. So this is Swanfield. Uh, there will be like vehicles and uh, mailboxes, bus stops and benches uh, placed around um, the streets, etc. Uh, that's just aesthetics which need to be added basically. So, oh, here we go. Here they come again. You must be cold. Uh, do we have another building here? Yep, so this is another building with a different layout. So you've got uh, apartments on the ground floor. Going up a level with one to three apartments on one floor okay uh, the fact that snow is falling inside buildings currently i'm not sure whether i want to fix that because the buildings are abandoned the windows are broken but that is an easy fix so uh, just let me know in the comments if you feel that needs to be addressed I think that it looks fine and it just changes the appearance of the buildings you know during the change of the weather so again these buildings are all uh, lootable and enterable so So that's the first floor. One moment. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. 
uh, second floor, again, lootable. And then I've added this onto the, um, just to block it off for a moment. So this building can go up uh, eight floors, I believe. But I just wanted to stop here for now, uh, again, to judge on performance. So we're currently getting 70, 80 FPS currently. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, in Main City, with all of the buildings, all of the surrounding forest area, and with zombies spawning. So, we're just trying to make a, a good balance between um, gameplay and performance of course because we don't want it to be unplayable you know but yeah so that, that hopefully gives you an idea of uh, Swanfield which is I think looking fine just needs more adding you know okay so Swanfield let's go to main menu uh, to the last area, which is the quarantine zone. So the quarantine zone is a slightly different area, as in you cannot enter, or you can, but you will die instantly. Um, you cannot enter without a gas mask. So... Um, You'll see, and I will explain when we are in. Okay, let me just get rid of this because we don't need a torch. I've put some items in here so we can actually go in and do something. So, so gas mask I will take here. I will load my magazines. Another one there. Let me just swap them over, actually. There we go. I should have got another magazine. Empty there. Okay. So, we go to the gate. Everything is good. We do not have a gas mask currently. We have one in inventory. Okay. If I enter... You will instantly take damage, okay? So, if you put the gas mask on... You can enter. Let me just heal very quickly. Uh, do I have any... Yeah, there we go. Use that one. That should be fine for now. So, if I just take the gas mask off, just again as an explanation... Uh, oh, we have two. Okay. So if I take this off, we will instantly start taking damage. Okay. So you need a gas mask to enter here. Um, you can probably get to the first gate, but that is going to be about it. Okay. And the zombies that spawn in here hit harder and have more health. Okay. So within the quarantine zone. We have, here he comes, okay. and they also offer better loot, so again it gives you a reason to come in here, but be careful, of course, okay, uh, anything in here? I think I need to adjust the lighting in here. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, there's a container. There we go. Just to give me an idea of the different types of loot available in the quarantine zone. It's not a large area currently. I'm thinking of expanding it, um, but right now it's again just work in progress, you know.
this has recently been added. So performance needs work, but yeah. Oh, we have a decent backpack for once. Uh, let's put that in here, that in there, put that on the floor. <laughs> or not. Okay, one moment. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just put that in here for now. Then this guy. Done. Okay. Yeah, so this just gives you an idea of what is the quarantine zone. Uh, the actual zombies that spawn in here offer better loot. My aim is shocking today. about it really I don't know whether I don't think there is any more to show that we haven't already seen to die because I haven't reloaded my magazines. So yeah, so this is the quarantine zone. If we just go in here show you these guys will take you down in a couple of hits, basically. And that's the end of that. Okay, so um, yeah, so like I said, hope you like what you see, even though my play is invisible. Um, hope you like what you see. Please like, subscribe, comment, ask any questions. Uh, the Discord, like I said, um, the link to that is in the, uh, the channel description. Um, and yeah, hope to see you soon.